Hello everyone. This is a short video on how to safely transport your new hatchling or baby tortoise home with you, as well as what to do when you get your new tortoise home for the first time. First of all, I'll briefly talk about the packaging that I'd recommend. This is so that you can either check with the breeder that they will provide a suitable box and heat source for your baby tortoise to travel home with you, or that you can bring with you what you need to keep your tortoise warm and calm during its journey home with you. So the outer box that I have here is a polystyrene box that I've disinfected with tortoise safe disinfectant and I've left it out to air dry about 24 hours before I've used it. If you are using a polystyrene box then please make sure it doesn't contain any chemicals which are toxic to animals. Then I've got a smaller clear plastic tub and it's got some air holes around the top of it. Hopefully you can see that in this picture. I then place a small piece of newspaper at the bottom of the tub so the tortoise doesn't slide around. Then this smaller tub is placed in the centre of the polystyrene box with some screwed up newspaper around it to keep the smaller tub from moving around and also it will offer extra insulation to keep your tortoise warm. It's a good idea to check with your breeder the size of your tortoise so you can make sure the inner tub is big enough for it. Next we can prepare our heat pack. The heat pack that I'm using here is one from UniHeat which is a small pets shipping warmer and this is suitable for a number of small animals including tortoises. And this particular one lasts for 40 hours and it costs me between one and two pounds. I have found that these heat packs take a little while to warm up, sometimes up to an hour. So if you're taking one with you, then you need to make sure you've opened it up at least 60 minutes before you need to use it. They're very simple to use and all you need to do is remove the outer packaging, then give the heat pack inside a little shake and this will loosen up the contents and then activate it. Then I loosely wrap the heat pack in newspaper and then put it down the side of the box and leave it to warm up. I tend to use the heat pack for tortoises that require heat such as the leopard tortoise and also hatchlings as well as any young tortoise especially if the outside temperatures are going to be less than 22 degrees C during its journey home. And finally I place a piece of newspaper over the top of the tub for further insulation. If you don't have one of these polystyrene boxes, then you could use a shoe box. Or you could use a tub that has solid sides so they can't see through and then use the newspapers and heat pack that I've described previously. When you go to collect your tortoise, I'd strongly recommend doing the health checks before you purchase your tortoise, just to make sure it's nice and healthy before it comes home with you, as you don't want to start off with hefty vet bills. I do have another video on how to check the health of your baby tortoise, which goes into a lot of detail on this, and it will help you choose a tortoise that's healthy. If you have any doubts at all, then my best advice is to trust your instincts and don't feel pressured into buying a tortoise that doesn't appear to be healthy, despite how pushy the breeder is or how desperately you want to bring the little tortoise home with you. Now that you've arrived home with your new hatchling or baby tortoise, we need to unbox them and put them into their new tortoise table. If you've already seen another of my videos on how to get set up and ready for your baby tortoise, then you'll be aware of the tortoise table that I'd recommend, along with the temperatures required for leopard tortoises and so on. 
And if you haven't seen this video yet, then I'll leave a link in the description for you. When you put your tortoise into its tortoise table, then I'd recommend placing them under the basking lamp so that they can warm up if they need to. You may find that your baby tortoise will immediately run away to hide under a plant or log, but that's fine as they want to feel safe. So don't be tempted to keep moving them from out of their hiding place back under the basking lamp or another area of the tortoise table, as this will cause them even more stress. And it's best just to leave them to explore in their own time and this will help them settle quicker. I'd also recommend giving your baby tortoise a bath so they can rehydrate and you can either do this before you put them in the tortoise table for the first time or you can leave it to the following morning. If however your baby tortoise has had to travel some distance and it's been without water for a few hours then I'd recommend bathing them first. And I have another video on how to bath your baby tortoise and I'll leave a link in the video description for you. If you haven't already put food and water out in their tortoise table, then I'd suggest doing this now. All you need for this is to put a saucer with clean fresh water out. You can use tap water, but if you have filtered water or cooled boiled water, then that's even better. And also put a saucer or a plate of freshly washed food. with a sprinkle of calcium or Nutribel. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description below on the video that I have on what to feed your leopard tortoise if you want more information on this. Don't be alarmed if your tortoise doesn't eat straight away as it can take some tortoises a couple of days to adjust before they start eating again. But if after two days your tortoise hasn't eaten anything, then I'd recommend doing the health checks again, as I mentioned previously. Or if you're still worried, then you can either contact the breeder or your vet. I'd also recommend double checking the temperatures in your tortoise table. But if you're following my recommendations on how to get set up and ready for your baby tortoise, you may have already been monitoring these for the past few days. So as a reminder, the temperatures for leopard tortoises are on this slide. I normally keep the basking lamp and other UVB lights on for about 12 hours during the summer months and 8 hours during the winter months. However, if your baby tortoise has only just arrived home and it's after the time that you're planning on switching off their basking lamp or lights, then I'd recommend leaving the lights on for about an hour or so before switching them off for the evening. This is so that your baby tortoise can warm up if needed, as well as adjust to its new surroundings before it chooses somewhere safe to sleep for the night. Also, at night time, throw away any uneaten food and clear their food and water bowls ready for the morning. You can also throw away or recycle the newspaper and heat pack, as this is no longer required, but I would recommend keeping hold of the box or tubs that you use to transport your baby tortoise, in case you need them at a later date. It's also a good idea to weigh and measure your new tortoise within the first couple of days so that you can keep an eye on their health and development. Once again, as you've probably guessed, I do have another video on how to weigh your tortoise and also how to measure your tortoise to help you with this and I'll leave a link in the description below. And finally, I hope your new baby tortoise will settle in quickly and enjoy the start of their new adventure with you. Thanks for watching my video. And if you've enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to see my other videos.